Hi, welcome to today's strength practice. This is an all levels practice. We are not going to move quickly. We're going to move slowly and steadily and slow does not always necessarily mean easily, <laughs> um, especially when we're working with strong, sturdy poses. But um, listen to your body throughout the practice and I'll give you as many options as I can. So let's go ahead and come all the way down onto the ground. We're going to start laying down. So Yay for that. Let's take just a few still moments here in our constructive rest pose. So the knees are bent, the hips are relaxed, the pelvis is supported, the lower back is at ease. We can walk our shoulder blades down the back a little bit, feeling nice and long through the neck. Maybe you're closing your eyes, just feeling your feet against your mat and noticing how your body feels. Let's take a few deeper breaths, longer inhale and a deeper exhale. And we're gonna start to sprinkle in some movement with the breath. So let's take a deep breath in to prepare. With the exhale, we're gonna press down beneath the arms and climb up into a bridge pose. Once we're there, we'll take another breath in and with the exhale, we'll go ahead and melt the spine back down. Let's do that a few times. So inhale, once the pelvis has landed, exhale, start to imprint the spine and then start to peel it up slowly from the tail, climbing all the way up to the shoulders. We take a nice breath in at the top and then exhale and roll it back down. Let's do it like that one more time. Deep breath in, exhale, start to peel up and lift. A breath in at the top and then we'll exhale and lower back down just for a moment let's lift and hug the knees into the chest we can move the feet around a few times maybe wiggle the toes and just roll the ankles and then we're going to lift the legs like we were going to stand on top of the ceiling so your feet are gently flexed your pelvis and your lower back nice and heavy against the mat and quadriceps are engaged here and the hamstrings are stretching Let's also notice how the belly is just doing a little bit of work to support that big lift through the legs. As we bend the knees and keep the feet very close to the body, we'll place them back down. We're gonna inhale to prepare. As we exhale, we'll peel up again, coming into bridge again, but this time we're gonna hold it a little bit longer. So see if you can shimmy your shoulder blades a little further down the back and reach your fingertips down towards your feet. And let's make sure that we're anchoring beneath all corners of the feet. So rather than rolling to the outer edge, we want to stay grounded beneath the big toe, the pinky toe, and all the way back in the heel. You might even lift and spread your 10 toes to check in and make sure that you're firmly grounded there beneath the feet. You can relax the toes back down. And just imagine that you're hugging a little block in between your knees so that the knees are staying in line with the hips. You can stay like this if it feels okay. See if you can peel your heels up off of the floor now. Lift up even higher. Press down the arms a little bit more firmly. So engaging the calf muscles now and rooting down through the balls of the feet now. Gluteal muscles are turned on. We have a strong back and the upper body is engaged as well. Let's take one more breath in here. And then as we exhale, we'll just melt the spine back down. Eventually the heels will land. We'll draw the knees to the chest. And then again, let's just lift the legs, flex the feet like you were gonna stand on the ceiling here. Your pelvis is nice and heavy against the ground. So just notice what is active in your body here, your belly, your quadriceps. Good, and then we'll drop the knees into the chest. Let's go ahead and rock up now. We're gonna change our position. We'll come into a tabletop and we're gonna come into spinal balance. So let's take the right arm forward. Go ahead and add the right arm first and notice how you're now supporting yourself with three legs of a table instead of four and just notice what happens here. So the muscles around your shoulder blades are active and your belly once again is engaged to support your strong back. You can then add that left leg. Let's kick it back here, flex the foot and let's spread the fingers wide on the hand. So putting lots of activity and energy out through 
the hand and the foot. Strong, long arm, engaged back leg, lifted belly. Let's drop the hand. We're going to kickstand that bottom foot off the mat. Turn and open up here. So we are in a balancing half moon, the kneeling variation. If it gets to be too much, just drop your foot back down. Find a little bit more support. This is kneeling side plank. If it feels okay, though, keep the leg lifted and very active. So again, press that heel away like you want to make a print of your foot up against the side wall. So a lot of strength around your hip and your gluteal muscles, your belly, and then feel that underside of the body lifting. Keep breathing here. As we exhale, let's drop the arm. We're going to turn back and we're going to revisit the spinal balance again. So same side here. It's still that left leg lifted. One more breath in. As we exhale, we'll drop the arm first this time and then just drop the toes to the back of the mat. You're then going to step back with the right foot. Here's plank pose. You could drop your knees here if you want a little bit less or keep them lifted with nice firm active legs, a lifted head, shoulder blades down the back, a long neck. Plank, a quintessential strength pose in our yoga practice. Feel it as a full body experience here. And again, just remember you have options so the knees can be on the ground. We're gonna pull back to rest in just a moment and you can choose either child's pose or downward facing dog. So take a breath in here. With the exhale, let's pike the hips, pull back, or maybe settle the hips down against the heels for child's pose. So either down dog or child's, focusing now on the exhale breath. So we're going to do all of that to the other side. So we'll come back down to our tabletop and we're just going to lift the left arm forward and just notice how that changes the engagement in your body. Where do you need to connect to support the fact that one of your table legs now is out of the picture? Let's go ahead and add the opposite leg. So now we're balancing on two legs instead of four. So really connect in the center to provide a lot of stabilization, a lot of support for this broken table. Good. Let's drop the hand, kickstand the foot off of the mat so that you can turn and open up here. And remember, you have the option to choose between the kneeling balancing half moon or you can drop the extended leg for a kneeling side plank. Wherever you are, press the heel away, spread through the fingers up top. Really feel all that beautiful space that you're creating while you are creating strength and feeling very stable. Good. We'll close the pose. So turn back to the center. We'll come back into spinal balance for just another breath or two here. We're going to drop the hand, drop the toes, step back again into plank pose, knees or toes, you choose. Try to feel this as a full body experience. It's not just the arms holding you up. Your legs are very strong and active. Your core is very connected. Your head is in line with your spine, keeping the pathway open for all that breath and energy to flow through your beautiful body. We'll inhale with the exhale. We're going to choose either down dog or child's pose. Which resting pose is more appropriate for you today? Let's take a yogi vinyasa. So we're going to pull forward into our plank again. We're going to lower halfway. Let's go ahead and come all the way down. We're going to roll the shoulders back, tuck the chin, lift the heart. And we're going to pick up the hands today so that we can ensure that it's our back body doing the work here to extend the spine. So a floating baby cobra. We'll tuck the chin. It's a back bend, not a neck bend. 
Let's inhale. As we exhale, we'll drop the hands. We're going to pull back into child's pose together, really emptying the air out from the depths of the lungs. Okay, we're going to do one more spinal balance variation. It's an option. So coming into tabletop, you can keep your knees on the ground the whole time, or you can always bring your knees back down to the ground at any point. We're going to tuck the toes, and if it works, just peel your knees about an inch or two off of the ground. So you're hovering. Your core has to connect a little bit more. We're going to slide the right toes now to the back of the mat with the left knee hovering, or maybe it lands back down on the ground. Now, can you lift the right leg? <laughs> Hold half of a spinal balance with that bottom knee hovering. Keep breathing, keep bracing. Take one more breath in. Exhale, let the knee land. Let's add the opposite arm one more time, spinal balance. We're gonna be moving on from this one pretty soon. Good, let's come down, drop the knee. Let's round away. Take a cat pose stretch. We'll pull through into a cow pose stretch. And then we'll come back to neutral. We'll choose our tabletop again. So knees supported on the ground or tuck the toes and hover the knees. Try to maintain that same long neutral spine here. Left toes can step to the back of the mat. And maybe, just maybe, you lift the left toes off of the floor. Good, let's let the knee land. Let's add the opposite arm. One more breath in here. Exhale, let's come down. Cat pose, rounded spine. Cow pose, let's lengthen the belly underneath. Let's pull back, child's pose. Take the weight off the wrist for a few moments. Maybe wiggle the fingers or roll the wrist a few times. So we're gonna come up to a kneeling lunge, but this is gonna be a much shorter kneeling lunge than what you may be used to. So we're gonna take the right foot up between the hands. If you need blocks to help you out a little bit, you could always have blocks there. So this left knee, the back knee, is right underneath the left hip. And then we're gonna climb up. So we're in sort of a 90-90 lunge. It's much shorter. So this lunge is less about the big stretch. It's more about a feeling of stability, okay? So when our hands come to the heart, think about just kind of engaging here. So hugging your outer hips in, drawing your pelvic floor up, drawing the navel back. You're pressing down through the front foot. You can stay here, I want to emphasize that. You could also choose to tuck the back toes and just like we did in the table, hover the back knee just an inch or so off of the floor. Maybe you wanna lift your arms. Good, if you chose to lift the knee and lift the arms, go ahead and come back down, hands to the heart. We're now gonna reach down to the ground, lift the back knee off of the ground now. So in a runner's lunge now, and again, blocks can be helpful here if the ground seems really far away. You can stay here. I wanna emphasize that this is an all levels experience. If you want a little bit more, firming up that back leg, press the heel away, rise up for a crescent lunge and then maybe lift the arms. So the back leg is straight now, but that front knee is bending deeply. And from wherever you are, let's just open it up for a moment into warrior two. So the back heel lands as those toes angle in and we stay deep and low in our strong legs, our wide open heart. We'll tip it back, take a breath in, exhale. We're gonna cartwheel down and around, stepping back either to child's pose or downward facing dog, you can choose. You can continue to rest or come through a yogi vinyasa. 
Plank pose if you're choosing to flow. Halfway down, back bend low in cobra, or flip to tops of feet, press high into upward facing dog. From here, we'll pull back to either child's pose or downward facing dog. Take a few breaths. Good, now let's meet back up on hands and knees, tabletop, so that we can now take that left foot up between the hands and we're gonna set up that short, stable kneeling lunge. So climbing on up when you're ready, checking your alignment. We've got the shoulders right over the hips, the knee right over the ankle. And you can stay here the whole time, just focusing on really just kind of locking into this position, feeling still, stable, and strong. Or you can challenge yourself by tucking the back toes and hovering that back knee just a couple inches off the ground, staying nice and low and deep and really activating those super strong, powerful muscles of the lower half. You could add your arms if you'd like to. And then we'll lower it back down. Good, let's reach to the ground, lift the back knee off of the ground so that we can come into runner's lunge. And this is a great place to stay. If however you're comfortable with it, you could rise up to a high crescent lunge, really driving down deeply into that front knee and pressing the back heel very far away. Let's take one more breath here, and then we'll just open it up now to the long edge of the mat to warrior two, a very grounding, strong, and stable pose with a sense of determination and focus as you gaze out over your second and third toes or fingers, <laughs> peace yogi fingers. Let's tip it back, inhale. With the exhale, we'll bring it down and around. We'll step back, child's or down dog. You can take an optional yogi vinyasa. Good, now we're gonna go ahead and come down to the ground and swing the legs around and we're gonna finish up back down on our back where we started. So let's go ahead and lower down here and just a teeny bit more tabletop work. Let's lift the arms above the shoulders, the knees above the hips, like we've taken our table and we've just flipped it on to its back upside down. We're gonna take the right arm out and the left leg out and just hover this for a moment. So let's flex the heel, let's spread the fingers wide, activate the belly muscles. You could straighten the right leg if you wanted to. Good, if you straighten that leg, bend it, bring the knee back in, bring the arm back in, let's switch. So right leg extends out, left arm drops back. Active foot, active hands, and then you can also lift and just kind of get an extra stretch. Good, let's bring everything back to the center and then just give ourselves a little hug. Let's finish with the pose that we started with. Just one last quick little bridge here, reactivating the back body muscles. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and relax, come back to constructive rest. You can stay here in this constructive rest pose a little longer or stretch out and find a Shavasana spot. Spend some time here, a few moments of stillness, just recognizing the work that your body gave you on your mat today. Appreciate your body for that work. Spend a little time with the breath. Stay as long as you can. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Namaste.